What's up, guys? <coughs> I'll have to make this stream really short tonight. Because I am really, really sick. <coughs> Actually, it hurts me to talk. So, it has nothing to do with... <coughs> Dang. <clears throat> Has nothing to do with the game. <clears throat> Hats off to Kentucky. Uh, they have played awesome. But, uh, man, I am... Uh, I've come down with something today, I guess about... I don't know, about 11 o'clock this morning. <clears throat> I couldn't breathe. Let me fix this camera. And it's just gotten worse as the day <clears throat> just went on. I've got a fever. So I'm going to make this stream uh, pretty short. If I feel better tomorrow night, I'm going to try to stream again. I know I haven't been active on YouTube the last week and a half, and uh, I'm going to try to fix that. I've been working a lot, and now, man, now, man, I'm sick. So, just a combination of a lot of things. So, hats off. Congrats to the Kentucky fans. Uh, but uh, we'll, we'll play hard in Knoxville, and... Uh, it is what it is, man. I don't get too torn up over sports anymore. Being a Tennessee fan, kind of, you understand that you can't win them all. But uh, anyway, uh, I just want to jump on here tonight and let you know, guys, I'm really excited about uh, the Bakeman box uh, by Six Sense. It's going to be available this week. Um, finishing just a few things up on it. So I've been getting a lot of questions on social media. Uh, is it a monthly box? How much is it? All that stuff. Uh, it's going to be forty four ninety nine. Now that is a little bit more than their normal boxes, but you're getting all premium baits. Uh, this first Baitman box is going to be all hard baits. Uh, it's a pre spawn box. It's not going to be a monthly deal. Uh, it's going to be you know every other month or every two months, something like that. And it's basically going to. So we'll have this pre spawn box, and then I'll have one. Hopefully, if this goes well, we'll have one uh, probably around uh, end of April, and we'll do a post spawn box. You know, uh, which, which I hope to have some uh, flipping stuff in there. Uh, maybe the new Six Sense Frog. Uh, I do have one on the way. Uh, can't wait to show you guys, and a variety of other stuff. Then I hope to do a ledge series, ledge series box, which you know it's going to have your deep divers and some swim bait stuff and. A big shaky head and the cool thing is we get into where we can be a little bit more versatile in our fishing we'll be able to fill that box a whole lot more but uh, this first box I know you're gonna get this bait right here if I can find one behind me I'm gonna get, actually get this exact bait which is uh, my favorite lipless on the market right now which is the quake 70 and you're gonna get it in crackle uh, craw uh, you're also going to get a Thud 70, which is basically the same bait, but with the one knocker in there. Um, and then, uh, what else is coming in there? You're going to get one of these Provoke Jerk Baits. And I've got this rigged up uh, on one of my Sticks rods right now. Uh, probably won't get this color. Uh, they were out of this, but I got two really sexy colors uh, that they can uh, pick through. Uh, <clears throat> they, uh, they're, they're not going to do a pre-order as far as I know. Um, they're just going to throw it on the website. So make sure you sub the channel, follow me on social media, all that stuff. Uh, and anytime you order from six cents website, uh, you can use the code Bateman and you'll get 10% off. <clears throat> so I'll post a video or uh, video or update on YouTube, man, this, this chest code's killing me. And uh, you'll be able to get the Bateman box. And uh, I really appreciate everybody that's been asking about it. And uh, something I've been wanting to do for about a year and a half. Um, it'd be awesome to do a really big box. But, you know, Six Sense has been really good to me. And uh, the reason uh, I'm working with them is, I'll be honest, um, they have treated me really well. And I'm a big believer in their baits. And I'm not a pro staff for them or anything. I've caught a ton of fish on their baits. And, you know, I pay for them on my own. And uh, it's just something I come up with to Casey, and he was all about it. And uh, I think it, it helped guys a lot. Uh, one box here for the spring. You'll have a couple uh, quakes in there. You'll have the new C6 crankbait for some uh, mid-depth cranking, uh, a jerk bait, 
Uh, I think there's a few other things in there that I'm missing. I just can't think straight right now. The new Mini Mag Square Bill. Uh, so it's going to be a great box, and of course it's a premium box. Uh, there's not stuff that needs to be closed out or discontinued. It is all current, uh, new product, new colors, and all the colors are selected to help you catch fish. I know I could th just chose all the purple ones, but that's not going to do anybody any good. So you'll see a lot. You're going to get a lot of reds, uh, like this crackle crawl, which is one of my favorites. A good natural jerk bait color. It's not tailored to just the Tennessee River. It's something that anybody can buy anywhere across the country and they'll be able to use. So, update on that. And uh, like I said, it's not a monthly box. Uh, probably looking at every other month or every two months and kind of fall in the bass seasons. Really excited about that. Uh, Barry, it'll be on Six Cents websites. Uh, Going to be one of their Six Cents Super Six boxes called the Baitman Box. Uh, any jank juice? Yeah, uh, Casey is def He's working on a new color, and it's going to be called Jank Juice. And I think you guys know what color that is, because Six Sense doesn't have it yet. And I've seen some photos, and uh, man, Casey's a great painter. Uh, so you let me know here in the comments section what color would you like to see jank or bait? Would you like to see jank juice in? Would you like to see it in a, 50 a square bill, a crank bait, a jerk bait, or a lipless? Personally. It'd be great in a jerk bait and a lipless, and definitely a square bill. So, I uh, I'm gonna make this kind of short. I forgot to do this last week. This is the new MTB Pro. Uh, I'm gonna do a couple videos for Mystery Tackle Box that they're gonna be sharing, hopefully, on their channel uh, this year. Uh, it's gonna try to knock some out this weekend, but we've got a huge ice storm and some other stuff. Uh, Dallas, uh, they will put it up on their website uh, probably this week. Uh, it should be available with on the same page as all those other boxes. Uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram, Facebook, uh, and all that. I'll make sure um, you post a link to on YouTube. I'll probably go live here on YouTube, and we'll do a uh, we'll talk about it as well. So, but you know, MTV sent me some great stuff uh, this month. So shout out to them. I'm excited to uh, do some videos for them. Uh, pretty good box this month. Uh, they got a Spro Frog in here. This is actually the Dean Rojas uh, Spit Shad. So this is more of a walking uh, frog than your traditional popping frog. I actually got a couple hanging up behind me. Really good bait. Uh, probably not going to do really good right now considering there's ice on the ground. So it might be a little tough throwing a frog through the ice right now. At least here. Uh, these are pretty cool. These are a title shot uh, shorty jig. And you can kind of put a small crawl on the back of these or small creature bait. And you kind of rig it backwards. So uh, that's really, really cool. Uh, for you Florida guys, got a little pack of big bite worms here, and uh, you see that little screw tail? Great swimming worm right here. I really like big bite baits, by the way. They make some great soft plastics, and they pour for a lot of companies too. Um, I really love the fighting frog. So pretty good bait box here. Uh, they got you a little Yozuri uh, shad crank one plus, uh, kind of like a small version of a shad wrap, and then. Uh, Here's this. This is pretty cool that you could use with that uh, title shot GK. Just a, a really small creature bait. Kind of looks like, kind of looks like an octopus. I'll pull it out here. Got lots of tentacles on this thing. Really small. You got finesse guys should really really like this. So that's in the mystery tackle box. And then a bait that uh, I'm not seeing a lot of guys talk about. This company is really cool. Riot Baits. They make what they call the Fuzzy Beaver, which is really good. And this is their kind of stick worm stinko bait. Uh, and you see it's it's bulb there in the middle, so you can slide an O-ring over it. You get a lot of action when this thing falls. It's kind of a California 420 color. Uh, it doesn't say on the package what color it actually is. But this is cool bait. Great for wacky rigging, neko rigging. Um, Whatever you want to do with it. Really cool bait. Great company here. They make some cool stuff. So pretty decent MTV box. Uh, definitely got a variety in there. So anyway, guys, uh, you'll be able to get the Six Cents box on their website. Hopefully it'll be available this week. Uh, I'll make sure I post it in the community tab on the channel uh, when it's available. And you guys can go and grab it. And uh, thank you so much uh, for the support. We're really close to 10,000 viewers. I think mean, if I just keep talking, I'm not going to cough. So that's good. Uh, I don't have my laptop here, so if I'm not seeing your comments, I apologize. I'm going to see if I can pull this chat up here. 
Let's see. Whoa. What do I think of the Tokyo rig? Uh, I think it's really cool. Um, I've got something similar here um, called a punch shot rig uh, made by uh, Red One Systems. <coughs> God dang. It's a little bit more expensive, uh, but same deal. It's kind of like a compact heavy cover drop shot. And you can, what I noticed from a lot of guys, they throw it out there and they drag it back kind of like a football jig. Just keeps your bait up off the ground just a little bit, you know, three or four inches. Pretty cool deal. Um, definitely going to try that a little bit this year. Um, so, but uh, a lot of guys are watching that uh, a tournament over there at Lanier. It's awesome catching those jank spots. What do I think of Guggen baits? Uh, I think they're pretty cool, actually. Um, you know, I'll probably throw some. I get a lot of questions about those. Your Jungle Rose is an awesome color. Uh, the Guggen baits are pretty cool. My favorite is the uh, is that uh, God that little bug, whatever they call, kind of like a structure bug. And then uh, I actually like the big Mondo worm, pretty good. Um, got the right colors too. Got a got a plum, got a blue fleck. And one thing I'll give them, they didn't go crazy with the colors. They pretty much got the best colors uh, for across the country. What do I think about the frugal bladed jigs? Uh, I've never seen them, bud. So. <clears throat> Don't cough too hard, you might short. Yeah, I know how that goes, unfortunately. Yeah, I love, I like missile baits, man. I really like the D bomb. I was looking at my tackle. I'm really low on D bombs. It's one of my favorite flipping baits out there. But thanks, Brett. I appreciate, it, man. Uh, I'm really excited about it, and uh, I hope everybody enjoys it. And if we, everyone really likes it, uh, we'll do another one in a month or two. I was amazing in Venom. I appreciate that, man. Somebody else told me that. Favorite square bill setup? I, uh, I here's I actually got it right here, man. This is my square bill rod. This is uh, a dial with the Tula Elite. It's the seven foot Takahiro rod. It's a medium heavy glass rod. So I throw a square bill on quite a bit. And then I use a dial with SV six three to one reel. You can always bump it up to a seven. I like a six uh, quite a bit. Uh, that's my square bill setup. I use 10 or 12 pound Sunline Assassin. Sometimes I'll use canine fluorocarbon. Uh, especially if I'm around a lot of heavy cover. It's got a little stretch. It's pretty abrasion resistant. I really like it. Yeah, that's it. The Bandito Bug. Yeah, that's a that's actually a cool little bait. Yeah, Dustin Taylor said he got some of these right here. This is the, the Sp Spunk Shad from Hog Farmer. Apologize for my middle finger. I smashed a daggum window on it. It really hurt. But that's the Spunk Shad. You can put it on a little uh, Ned Rig. You can put it on the back of a chatter bait, back of a spinner bait. I've actually got it on a spinner bait right here. Looks pretty cool. That was from a couple weeks ago. And that's uh, made by Spot Sticker Baits. And that's their SLB spinner bait. And uh, really like this spunk shed. Super versatile. Uh, I think you'll see some new colors. I was talking to Scott at Hog Farmer about this bait. He said, man, make a couple more colors. If you cater to those chatterbait guys, uh, we really like different colors. My go to spinner bait. Man, uh, I've got so many different ones I like. Uh, to be honest, I, I throw an accent spinnerbait quite a bit. I don't. I thought I had one over here. Maybe I don't. I like a Nichols. Uh, I really like Angler's Asset, uh, which is this spinnerbait right here. And the, well, I'm going to tell you a little bit. This is actually a great little spinnerbait for right now. You got a lot of muddy water. I really like going to these painted blades in a Colorado setup. I really like uh, Angler's Asset. So he does a lot of these Indiana Colorado blade mixtures. A lot of companies have really got away from, uh, but when you get that dirty water, there's something about this bait right here. Uh, you really catch a lot of fish. And uh, Robert, that owns that, he's a great guy. Um, this one I, I really like too. And I think you guys have seen this before. This is the Omega Genesis TI. And this is the coleslaw color. And I got this specifically if the water got high and muddy. And lo and behold, the lake is probably going six foot over pool problem is it just won't stop raining and getting cold so but i like this bright red teaser on here this white painted blade it's going to show up really good in that dirty water and this coleslaw skirt it's pretty old school and it will catch them so and that's cool baby that's from uh, omega custom tackle uh yeah actually i used to use trilane 100 percent fluorocarbon for a long time i never really had any issues with it now the diameter is a lot thicker than many other uh lines yeah, uh, Jack and Bass, you can get that made on uh, Omega's website. And uh, they're really good people there. Uh, you can have that custom made. 
and uh, it's it's only like a dollar extra so it's pretty sweet um but those are probably my go-to spinner baits uh, i like a war eagle quite a bit uh if i'm not getting a lot of bites and want something to you know be real finessey i really like that war eagle what time do you stop throwing the i'm going to scroll through what time do you stop throwing the red craw colors in the spring probably mid-april i'll transition to some chartreuse and some other stuff my opinion on Kentucky Fish and Wildlife's latest report on Asian carp in Kentucky and Barkley Lake. I did not see it. I probably need to check that out before I comment and make an idiot out of myself. Uh, what do I think about Suffolk's advanced model? I haven't used it. Terry Bolton tells me some great things. I'm sorry if I put my fingers on the screen. I don't have my laptop with me. So, What do I think about a plumb jig on Kentucky Lake? It works. I know some guys that throw it. It's definitely a really good one. Have you ever tried the Bass Magic Shaky Tail? I have not. All right, finesse bait caster that doesn't break the bank. Uh, man, I, I I don't think it just depends what your definition of break the bank is. Um, I like the Daiwa SV. Uh, that's kind of what it was made for for throwing lighter stuff, being more, more finessey. You can find these on the internet. You know, between 130, 150 bucks used. They're 199 new. Uh, the Shimano Casitas is pretty good, but it's discontinued. I haven't played with the SLX that much. But I know a lot of guys that use the regular Corrado K, and it's a great setup. If you want to dig the internet, you can probably find a BFS Aldebaran that's a couple uh, years old and get it for around 200 bucks. Are the bass in pre-spawn now in Kentucky Lake? Yeah, I would say they're pre-pre-spawn. They're you know it's water temperatures in the mid 40s, and uh, these fish really haven't thought about moving up to do any kind of spawn and they're just kind of hanging around there trying to feed and, and stay warm um let's see what was my question here no problem tim i appreciate you buddy uh what do you think for tomorrow mf lf elite series i really like to see david mullins win the late series i didn't see how he did today i've been sleeping all day i am sick and so i haven't watched much uh mlf was pretty awesome when i watched today i saw uh Stephen Browning, last second fish catch, caught a three pounder to bump him up there. I also saw, uh, who was it? Uh, David Walker caught like a six and a half. And he had just fell out, hadn't caught a fish in like two hours, and he caught that jank. And uh, Conroe has some really big bass. The weather has just not cooperated. If the sun comes out tomorrow, you could see a double digit. And I actually think um, that. Uh, the size fish they've been catching is pretty good there on MLF. Uh, you look, it's a lot of two, two pound, almost three pound averages, not catching the 20, 30 fish a day. Um, the guys that are really in the top 10, their best five are pretty much going to average out. So Tennessee down by 10. Yeah, there's probably like 10 seconds left too. So uh, rough game for the Vols. We'll get back at it. I'm not going to get too torn up anymore. We're not really a basketball school, so I've been really blessed all year. We're going to get eventually we'll get back be good at football I'll probably be like 60 so but i'll answer a few more questions i'm gonna jump off here and i'm probably gonna go way back down i have got to go to work tomorrow night so i want to get whatever's in my system out where's some good smallmouth baits for kentucky that's a great question believe it or not uh i like an a-rig quite a bit uh an lv 500 i've caught a lot of smallmouth on that bait anything chartreuse in the spring I really feel like the smallmouth like that chartreuse color in the spring better than they do the reds. Um, a spinnerbait, I've caught a lot of smallmouth on a spinnerbait on Kentucky Lake. A lot of smallmouth on a 6XD. And now that's a summer. Um, football jig, uh, swimming, a little three inch Kitek will just murder the smallmouth. They like that thing. So hopefully uh, I'll do a video on that. <clears throat> Let's see. Zaldane at first. That's cool. Thanks, Brian. I appreciate it. Uh, I am sick, so I appreciate the compliments. I've never used the Livingston lures with the EBS chip. I'm just going to be honest with you. Uh, I, that's one of those things. The bait itself is great, but you can't sell me on that technology stuff. Dude, That those Divine Swim Jigs are sweet, Chris. Uh, I, I really like those. Uh, I got some new stuff coming from Dirty Jigs, too. The new Matt Heron Flipping Jig and the Scott Canterbury Compact Jig. I'm really excited. I love Dirty Jigs. I uh, talked to Kurt the other day. Uh, they got a lot of good stuff going on. Thanks, Victor. I, I feel really bad. I let you guys down last week. Um, what's a good budget A-Rig rod? Dobbins Fury, $7.95. $119. And that right there is all you need for throwing an A-Rig. 
and you can throw big, biggish swim baits on it, you know, up to two, three ounces. Uh, I know some guys that throw a 10 XD on it. It's a very good rod. Um, so I like that. And actually that sticks rod I have, the sticks power rod is right up to four ounces. You can throw an A rig on that. Lots of good rods out there. Thanks, Brett. I appreciate it, man. Man, the cats, they, uh, they got it done tonight. You know, you're not going to see no hate feed for me. They come to play, and that's all I can ask, and a better team is winning or won. I actually, I really like fishing shallow in May if uh, the fish are cooperating in the bushes. That's something I really like doing. I love throwing a spinner bait. I love flipping and pitching, uh, skipping a pop bar in those bushes. And one thing I do a lot that a lot of guys don't, I like to skip a fluke way back in those bushes. And you, man, I've got some awesome strikes and caught some big fish skipping like a green pumpkin or a watermelon fluke, uh, watermelon red way back in those bushes where the brim get. And working it really fast and it's just darting around there and it's weedless and man those fish should chase it for a while and it just haven't happened in the last couple of years best color for dirty jigs on kentucky lake uh there was color called baxter's bug it may be renamed now uh kurt just told me the only place it sells is when you talk about it on your show so he renamed it i think uh fast A's carries it it's called like bait bug or a bee bug or something but green pumpkin chartreuse black and blue uh <clears throat> There's a, a Cumberland cross, like a matte, matte brown or something. It's really a good one. Um, and I like uh, uh, Okeechobee 420. That's one I really like. When that's a, So when it's overcast, I like a dark jig, like a black and blue, that Okeechobee 420, uh, Canterbury Crunch. When it's normal conditions, I go to my greens. I don't get crazy on my jig color selection. I think a lot of guys get caught up in color jig. It's either green or black and blue to me. When you throw a big straight tail worm versus curly tail worm in the summer, I throw a ring worm a lot, which is a hard bait to get. It is made by Lucky Strike. You can still find them, the original ringer. I throw that 90% of the time. Now, when these fish get really lethargic, they don't want to get aggressive, I will throw something like a Zoom Mag Trick Worm. Uh, I'll throw it on like a quarter ounce, three inch shaky head. And then sometimes I'll go up to that big 10-inch Excite Worm or the Bull Worm, and I'll throw that on a big, uh, like, Biffle Hardhead or Structure Head, and I'll slowly reel it across the bottom. It's pretty cool. Your worm starts, like, swimming. It's it's a it's a big fish bait. You're not going to get as many bites on those big 10-inch straight tail worms, but the ones you get are janes. Uh, that Lucky Strike Ring Worm, that's probably my all-time favorite worm, and I'm looking at about 15 packs of them in plum in front of me, and I've collected them throughout the years. And every time I use one, I cringe because they're hard to get. So it's going to be a good show this year when we talk about soft plastic worms. I, I got a lot of tips. I'm a brush pile guy, but the last couple of years, the fish have really changed. But I will tell you, Six Sense has got a line of plastics coming out. I'm really excited about those two. I've seen previews of their worm, Baitman Approved. Uh, I've seen previews of their swim baits. And some other stuff. How shallow will I go right now? You know, that's a great question. I have actually caught them in a foot of water this time of year, especially on the end, telling end of a warming trend. If it's been warm two or three days, uh, sometimes uh, when those gizzard shed stuff start, you start seeing them moving toward the backs of the bays. You can get dirt shallow and catch a lot of fish in a foot, two foot of water that are feeding on bait around stumps and stake beds. And that's when I really like uh, throwing a real shallow square bill. Uh, like that six cents movement, a uh, 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 strike king, you know, 2.5 and put it on some big monofilament so it don't dive as deep or uh, throwing that uh, double Colorado spinner bait and waking it near the surface. Uh, it's a really good way. Topwaters are great for springtime. That's probably one of my most underrated baits is a black, let's see if I got one here. It's something like this right here. I will throw, you know, maybe not this particular one. This is a strike king, uh, honey buzz. A black buzz bait, I have murdered the bass in the water temperatures 50 to 55 degrees on Lake Barkley. I haven't done it on Kentucky, but Lake Barkley, I guess 2006 to 2010, I had a couple areas. As soon as that water hit 55, I could run a buzz bait around and you catch some giant stringers of bass. Matter of fact, on uh, my wife and I was like fourth of date, I took her bass fishing and I'm not going to lie, I put it on her pretty bad. I was flipping a beaver. I know that sounds bad. I took my wife on a date and flipped a beaver, but I was Reaction Innovations beaver, and I caught seven or eight, four to five pound fish, and she couldn't get a bite. So I tied her on a buzz bait. Water was 58 degrees, 
and she caught a six pounder on it and it was awesome it was kind of funny because it blew up and she goes what do i do and i said well by gosh you reel it in and uh she manhandled it i knew it was love at first sight right then so that was always a good story hopefully uh i'll get a boat here in the next uh, couple years and i get to take her fishing more i'm really excited about taking brooks pond hopping this year he, he's he's pumped so hi uh i'm gonna make this a short stream tonight and uh, i'm gonna jump off here guys comment in the section below uh some stuff you want to see in upcoming videos and i'll try to knock it out maybe i'll live stream to tomorrow night before work if not let's plan on tackle tuesday i know i didn't get to this week just work is crushing me and i'm sick but let's do tackle tuesday uh we'll pick a topic maybe we'll talk a rigs and i actually thought about doing forgotten baits because i've got i've been finding lots of baits around here everybody's forgot about that still catch fish and i think it'd be cool to bring you some information stuff you might want to look for in your local tackle store or on facebook groups that get overlooked they catch a lot of fish and you can probably buy them really cheap so we'll I, that's something i've been wanting to do i'm gonna have to do some more sit down videos but thank you guys so much for joining the stream we are so close to 10,000 viewers or subscribers that was my goal last year we fell a little short uh we will talk some chatterbaits well i just looked at my chatterbaits i need to go buy about six or seven to really give you all the rundown on the differences and everything so uh it's a great idea matt me and bass quest talked about that uh i get uh my live streaming stuff fixed up i'm going to break down kentucky and barkley lake for spring summer and pull the map up and split screen and give you all some waypoints so i'm going to be working with angler and i'm also, i'm going to write a couple articles and drop some waypoints for you guys to fish as well you'll be able to find that stuff on the angler website under the angler expert so guys i'm going to jump off here my head is pounding my chest is killing me but i really appreciate you guys joining let's get the same thing over ten thousand. we'll try to do a giveaway this week and Thanks again so much. Six Cents Baitman Box be coming to you this week. Make sure you follow Six Cents on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and you'll be able to get that sucker shipped right to your house. So thank you guys so much. As always, go Vols, and God bless you guys.